Brothers and sisters, I ask often, what's it like to be a witness of the Lord Jesus Christ? I always answer that question in this way. You tell me because you are a witness of Jesus Christ and I'm a witness of Jesus Christ in the same circumstance. Why? Because men and women, boys and girls who've been baptized and received the gift of the Holy Ghost have the privilege and duty of being a witness of Jesus Christ because the mission of the Holy Ghost told again and again in the scriptures is to testify of the Father and the Son. That's your responsibility as well as mine. You read in the Doctrine and Covenants that a, an apostle is a witness of the name of Christ in all the world. What's the difference between a witness of Christ and a witness of the name of Christ? That's a big subject. I wrote a book on it a long time ago that went into print, out of print faster than any book I, I'm aware of. It, it was just too much doctrine to be bought and given as a, as a gift anyway. The one that benefits from a talk is the one who prepares it, and the one that benefits from a book is the one who writes it. And in a word, the name of Christ, of which I am a witness, is the authority of Christ. The mission of Christ, including the atonement and the plan of salvation, and the essence of Christ, including Godhood. I am a witness of those great realities. In addition to being a witness of Christ, I witness of his mission, of his divinity, to which he beckons each one of us on condition of covenants and repentance and faithfulness and of his authority, which I am privileged to hold the keys of. And that's another unique position of an apostle. And out of all of that, I testify to you that we have the fullness of the gospel of Jesus Christ and we have the power of the priesthood and we have the mission as we understand it of our great Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in whose name I testify in the name of Jesus Christ.